morning, you guys. It's morning. It's nice and early outside. Morning. Slept through the whole night without being woken up by one fly. I think I got them all. Yes. Anyways, now that the house is fly free, it's time to go and make some money. We are headed down to Kentucky, North Carolina, and South Carolina. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm more than ready. Let's go. So I just stopped at Subway and got myself my steak and cheese sandwich on Italian herb and cheese. My favorite sandwich. And I got a bottled drink, a bottled Coca-Cola with the meal, right? And I just picked a random one out of the cooler without looking. And Danielle, you're the lucky winner. If there's a Danielle watching this video, we've got a date. All right. Trucking! Trucking in the rain! So we're here uh, on southbound construction highway, uh, I mean uh, Highway 75 in Manitoba. And we're headed towards the United States border. We're going to be going on to I-29 South like we usually do. We're going to be taking that down through uh, Minneapolis, Chicago, all that stuff, Wisconsin. I don't know why I always have to say Wisconsin that way. I don't know, Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin. They got all kinds of like water parks and stuff. Did you know that Wisconsin is like the indoor water park capital of the world or something like that? That's what I heard. Oh well, I guess it'll be a rainy, rainy drive today. You guys ready for some rain? I hope you brought your umbrellas. Well, you guys all know this place. Unless if you're a new subscriber. In which case, this is the border. Just on the other side of the line, there's America. So we're crossing from Manitoba, Canada into North Dakota, United States. So on the left here is the Canadian border going north the opposite way of us. The head, that brownish building is the American border. Looks like it's pretty busy for the four wheelers. No one in line for the trucks though. Wow, usually it's the opposite. What is today? Today is, oh, it's a long weekend. That's why everybody's going down to spend money in the States. Because everything is so much cheaper down there. So it's cheaper to take a vacation down there. Welcome to America, North Dakota, the Valley region. So we've got a whole lot of nothing to drive through for the next about six hours until we get to Minneapolis. I'm gonna stop for a little rest stop in Grand Forks, carry on and just keep the hammer down. Is it time to walk the weasel? Yep, it's time to walk the weasel. This guy's parked very interestingly. Look at that, his parking spot goes right to the back. Yeah, he chose to park way up there. To each his own, whatever. You wanna park that way, park that way. It's free country. I don't care. I wouldn't park like that for night though. But whatever. Whatever floats his boat, whatever gets his motor going, I guess. So we are in Grand Forks, like I had said before. And we're just gonna try to get into the grass here for diesel. Woo, grasshoppers everywhere. Grasshoppers everywhere. 
Diesel, don't sniff that. Diesel, don't eat that. <laughs> it's a lot of don'ts. Don't do this. Don't do that. So we're just quickly giving him a chance to relieve himself, and then we'll be hitting the road. We want to get down to Black River Falls tonight yet. That's in Wisconsin. And it's about, let's say, eight and a half, nine hours from here. We'll see, plus stops. So I'm going to run in here yet and uh, oh, mosey around the Flying J here a little bit. See? Travel Plaza. I really wish Manitoba would have more. I know we got the nice Flying J, the nice Husky. Uh, but we just don't have the population to support anything more, really. But I don't wish we had more people. I like the amount of people we have. It's a very barren, empty land, and I like that. My house would have been a lot more expensive had there been more people in Manitoba. So, since it's not a very desirable place to live, and it's way out in the middle of nowhere, with no cell signal and no internet, I got it for pretty cheap. You're walking so good right now, Diesel. So good. Why can't you always walk so good? Man. Yeah, right beside me. That's how you're supposed to walk, Diesel. Every time. Good boy. All right. Well, we're having some sun showers here. The sun is just well, it was just shining while it was raining. Since we got so much water on the road, I took the cruise control off. There's a little free tip for you when it's raining. Don't use your cruise control. You can hydroplane, lose control. Uh, and then your car wants to keep going, right? So it'll spin out and you'll wipe out and possibly die. You don't want to do that. Not today. Another good idea that you should definitely do when it's raining, when your windshield wipers are on, you should have your headlights on. A lot of drivers, forget that. I do it sometimes too. I'm guilty of it. Try to remember when you turn your wipers on, turn your headlights and taillights on so people can see you. It's harder to see you when you're in the rain. Hold the fort, my man. Hold the fort. We need the keys. All right, let's try that again. We are going into the truck stop where we're at here. Uh, was it Clearwater, Minnesota? No, just past Alexandria, Minnesota. But it's uh, a BP. It's like a smaller kind of truck stop. I'm hungry. I need something to wake me up because I'm getting tired. So I always sleep better when I'm in the truck for some reason. So whenever I sleep at home, I never sleep as good. Weird. But we're gonna go inside here, see what they got. They've got a nice shop here. I never even knew this place was here. And I drive past it on like every trip. I walked in there like a boss. I got me my nibble haul. My food to nibble on. So I call it a nibble haul. I don't know. Junk haul, you get all the junk haul, junk food haul. Where are you going, driver? All right, you're going over there. Well, then I'm going over here. I prefer not to be underneath your tires. Well, you're gonna back up now, aren't you? You're gonna force me to wait now, aren't you? Yep. You're going back up. Back her on up, driver. Guess I'll go around the front of them. Never walk behind a truck that's backing up. Bad idea. Go around the front. That there is one of the nicest drivers. He's walking over there now. This is his truck right here. He's one of the nicest drivers I've ever met. Once he parked, he came around to my driver's side here, knocked on my door, and I rolled down my window, and he just wanted to apologize. He thought I he cut me off like he backed into a spot there like I showed you and he wanted to apologize saying sorry I cut you off there I didn't mean to uh, to do that I saw you walking there so, no 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 man I was just saying to the camera you did a good job you know it would be bad for me to walk behind him I knew what he was doing I knew what he was doing I'll walk around the front that's no problem you did a good job so yeah nicest driver apologize just for making me wait there are good people in this world. I promise you, he is one of them. I don't know if your uh, company watches my videos or not, but you are a good driver. 
I would give 10 stars compliments to that driver because he came in here safely, backed into his spot, and he was worried about me. All right, we're about to come up to the fork in the road in Minneapolis here. We take the fork to the right, we go around the south, so we go left. Like Mandy says, we'll keep left and we'll go around the north. It's Minneapolis, good to see you again. Good to see you. Hope you're nice to me today. entering the highway and I'm exiting and I need to move over and they never get that. See? Unbelievable. <laughs> that is a terrible exit. People coming up. Keep left on ramp to I-94. On the on-ramp, I believe they have to uh, yield to those on the freeway who are merging onto the off-ramp, but it's very hard to do that because the on-off ramp is the same ramp and it's only like 30 feet. <laughs> oh well, it's always one big giant kerfluffle there, but oh well, we manage. It's better than a stoplight, I'll tell you that. It is a beautiful night outside perfect temperature. Feels like it just rains, so it smells like rain. It's just so good. Menominee rest area, but another two and a half hours to go. We're going to try to get to Flying J, Black River Falls. Flying J. Flying J, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. We made it, Diesel. We made it. Can we go to bed now, man? Yes, we can go to bed. We've already done our logs. All we gotta do is go shower, edit the video, upload the other video, render this video, and plus we're working with a new computer, so it might take a little longer today. But we'll do our best. We need to get enough sleep so that we're rested for tomorrow. So we'll make sure of that. So guys, thanks for taking along today. We went from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada to Black River Falls, Wisconsin, United States of America. Seems so long when you say it all like that. You know, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, United States of America. Or you could just say Black River Falls, USA. Whatever. My shoulder cracked when I did that. So, we're gonna... Go to bed here tonight after I clean up all this and get it all worked out and get everything onto the laptop. Go have a shower. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, guys, there's new vlogs every day. We're back in the truck. We're back on the road. Vlogs are back to their normal content of trucking. Yay! I hope to see you tomorrow right here on the same channel. Like I said, 4 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. Go down below to the description. There's links to past videos there all the way up to a year ago. Find out what we were doing a year ago on this day. While you do that, I'm going to go work on this floor today. See you tomorrow.